So targeted therapies for lung cancer are not new. They've been with us uh, uh, for about now more than 10 years, actually. But what is new is that we have now much more options in the world of targeted therapies. How targeted therapies work? Targeted therapies effectively exploit a specific weakness in the cancer cells that we recognize via uh, by, by specialized tests that we do in the DNA of the cancer cells. And as soon as we recognize the specific weaknesses, for example, mutations, then we can select the correct targeted therapy to switch off this mutation, to act on this mutation and stop the cancer from growing. So here is uh, here I will say that uh, the expertise of the lung cancer oncologists come in place because we now have a collection of new uh, targeted therapies that work in very different uh, weaknesses in the cancer DNA. Uh, one of the most uh, common ones, or the, I sh should I say, one of the very first ones we recognized are, in, are mutations in the EGFR gene. These are mutations that, that affect uh, these are mutations that affect the cancer cells and help help them grow, help them uh, gain all the characteristics of a cancer cell, grow without uh, grow without any influences from external tissues or uh, metastasize. Uh, these are mutations that we generally find in patients uh, most commonly, I should say, find in patients that are never smokers or uh, ex-smokers. Ex uh, and these are mutations which for now we have third generation EGFR targeted therapies, therapies that are not only very effective in stopping the cancer from growing, but also have a very good side effect profile, meaning that the, the, the toxicity that we expect is uh, very well manageable and uh, without without hindering the quality of life of patients. Here, I should also say that now targeted therapies against the GFR, especially a drug called osimertinib, is a drug that we can use to help cure more patients, patients with early stage disease. So again, here it's uh, probably important to bring uh, some examples. Uh, patients that have activating EGFR mutations in uh, the era where we didn't have targeted therapies, when we didn't have EGFR targeted therapies, the life expectancy would be probably closer to a year. Uh, that's uh, that's the median overall survival. Now, with these targeted therapies, we are talking about years, and uh, with the new uh, with the new developments, more targeted therapies coming uh, in this field. Now we know that uh, we can even uh, push the barriers uh, further. Another example is targeted therapies against ALK, ALK, anaplastic lymphoma kinase. Uh, these targeted therapies have shown that uh, have can increase their chance of uh, being alive at five years from 10% uh, that it was before the targeted therapies to more than 60%, which is now. And these are figures that uh, hopefully we can much improve uh, for patients that are diagnosed now because there is very active research in the background. And we know that more effective, less toxic uh, targeted therapies are in the pipeline. So hopefully we'll be able to have them in clinic soon and be able to offer this to our patients as well. In most of the cases, the answer is yes. When we do have uh, when we do have a change in the DNA, where we can, can identify a weakness in the DNA, then the relevant targeted therapy is the best uh, is the best way forward. That again is not something that is uh, one rule. There are uh, there are other targeted therapies we use after immunotherapy or after chemotherapy, and that's where uh, the expertise of the lung oncologist come in place. I'll give an example. For many years, we had uh, we had we 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 knew that we had a mutation, the mutation in the KRAS gene, which essentially was called uh, a non-druggable. We could not develop a drug for this mutation. Now there are drugs available for this mutation. However, these drugs are are licensed to be used as second line treatment, so after immunotherapy or chemotherapy, uh, to help patients uh, live longer. We do hope, though, there is a lot of active research, and we do hope that in the very near future, these targeted therapies, or perhaps 
combination of these therapies with other treatments will, will be first-line treatments, will be initial treatments to help us prolong the life of patients and also offer a better quality of life.